Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping straight into a Sword and Shield build, and we're going to focus straight on DPS and CC. So a lot of people have been talking about, you know, the tanky build, the tanky way to go with Sword and Shield, and how strong that is. Well, yes, it is strong, but if you're wanting to run PvP in the open world or in duels, there's another build that could be very, very strong with the correct second weapon. So we're going to jump you guys through that very, very strong, like I said, DPS CC build in just a second. So jumping into it, we do see that Final Stand is a very, very common build, uh, you know, with that tankier side of things. We're going to skip directly out on the Final Stand. We're going to start off with the Shield Rush on the Defender side of things. So you may be thinking, well, it's on the Defender side. Will we not do much damage? Well, we definitely are going to do a lot of damage because every time you use Shield Rush, you are going to knock back foes and deal 125 weapon damage. It's By the way, this is also a rush forward, so you're going to be able to lunge with this fairly far. When you hit this, you're actually going to be able to do a heavy attack or a, even a, at least, a, the very least, obviously, depending on what they're running. You're going to get a light attack off for free, which is going to be very, very uh, you know, very, very helpful with how much other CC items, um, or it's not CC items, but CC skills we're going to be running. Shield Bash going to be the second one. So this one actually deals 50% weapon damage and stuns foes in front of you for two seconds. This is going to be very, very strong because I want you guys to realize how long this slow will actually become with these passives. So uh, if we go down here, you can see that the Shield Bash gains greatly increased threat and 100% more damage, so obviously more damage. And we're also going to get this one, by the way, Shield Bash stun duration increased by one second. If we talk about the Shield Rush side of things, though, we are going to see improved rush. So on successful hit, all enemies within 5 meters gain 10% weaken for 4 seconds. Going to make very, very, uh, you know, a lot more damage, really, um, output by the enemy, uh, you know, to actually come to a standstill. So we're going to jump into some of the passives now so that we can actually get this intimidating rush as well. So if we look through some of these passives, you're going to see that these are going to be more of the tankier side of things to reduce damage from magical and reduce or sorry, gain additional physical armor. We're going to skip out on both of those because like I said, we're focused on damage this time around, focused on dueling. And uh, so we're going to skip out on the damage, uh, you know, really reflection as well. We're going to jump into one with a shield. So when you block with a shield, all shield cooldowns are reduced by 1%. So one thing you'll have to realize with this build is they are fairly long cooldowns. So you're going to have to hit your abilities. And if you miss them, use your shield to your advantage to get them back up very, very quickly. As we move over to this side of things, we have the stamina of damage is reduced by 15% when blocking a melee attack with a shield. We're actually going to ignore that specifically. We're going to continue on though. And what we are going to grab over here on this side of things is the Fortitude. So while holding a sword, current and max health are increased by 10%. That's going to be just giving you a nice solid amount of health for pretty much free right there. We see Intimidating Rush though. We are going to grab this now. So on successful hit, all enemies within 5 meters are slowed by 30% for 4 seconds. You're going to be able to see guys how much CC this really does give. And then also on this side, Concussive Bash. So Shield Bash, stun duration increased by 1 second. Going to be, like I said, very, very strong for Shield Bash. Going to make Shield Rush and Shield Bash very, very, very strong. Uh, I do want to jump over to the left side of things because this is where we start to get a lot of our damage. So we're going to take first off empowered stab. So successful heavy attacks, you, uh, well, give you 30% empower for five seconds and power, obviously increasing damage, uh, really overall. So that's one of those things that we are going to definitely take because we're going to be able to get a lot of heavy attacks off with shield bash and shield rush. We are going to see as well uh, Achilles heal. So the final attack in your light attack chain causes a 20% slow for two seconds. Very, very strong, giving you more CC and more catch and chase. Uh, definitely something you're going to need in New World if you're playing against maybe a light attack or even a medium, uh, or not a light attack, but a light armor or medium armor as they can dodge quite frequently. We also want swords critical strike chance increased by 10% as that's going to give us more damage. We're going to want move 33% faster while blocking. This you can change up. Obviously, this is one that uh, I like specifically because I'm going to pull that shield out to get cooldown reduction um, as they, you know, attack that shield. You are going to get cooldown reduction, like I said, but you're also going to be, you know, really closing in on that gap if they're, you know, maybe a ranged character using the ranged abilities and you're shielding and, you know, moving closer to them. Uh, we also have the Opportunist. So deal 10% more damage to slowed enemies. Well, you guys know that we have tons of slows with this build. So our Opportunist is going to be an obvious choice. We also have Confidence. Uh, confidence is going to be one we're actually going to miss out on and we're not going to take because you're not going to be full health very often. Obviously, if you get in the open world, there's not going to be too many times that you remain full health for too long. 
We are going to take, though, Freeing Justice. So successfully hitting with a heavy attack causes you to lose all debuffs. Very, very strong, depending on what you're playing against. Um, this can be very, very useful, and we're going to take that for sure. We also have Counter Attack. So when you block an attack, gain 10% increased damage for 20 seconds. So what you're going to have to do with this build, like I said, guys, it's going to be a lot of focus on getting your shield out there and taking advantage of the cooldown reduction, the extra attack damage, and the speed when you have, like I said, that shield out. I do want to take advantage of the Leaping Strike. So leap 4 meters and deal 135% weapon damage. A huge, huge leap, by the way. They definitely buffed this. If you actually go with the final strike as well, if you hit a foe below 30% health, deal 50% more damage. A huge, huge amount of damage if they are weak. And then also, Cowardly Punishment may be the strongest passive in the game. Uh, leaping Strike hits a target in the back. Slow the target for 8 seconds. So if they're running from you and you guys hit them in the back, unbelievable amount of slows from this build. Uh, then you also want to take leadership. So while holding a sword, all group members and damage is increased by 10%. It's going to help your entire team out quite a bit in the open world, whether you're running, uh, you know, three, four, five people strong, that 10% could be very, very helpful if you're all running that sword. Uh, so this is going to be the current build. Like I said, if you are looking to run a damage open world PVP build that can also work in duels if you use it correctly. I've played this a lot, played around with it. Very, very strong. Like I said, I hope you guys like today's video. If you guys want to test this build out, let me know how it goes in the comment section down below. When it does release, obviously New World's going to be seeing a lot of new builds come out and about. And I think this is going to be one that you do see in the open world. So good luck playing against it. Hopefully you learned a little bit about this build so you guys can counter it maybe in the open world if you are not running it. And uh, if you have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.